one of the most exciting times in a whole WWE calendar is coming up with is what's called a WWE draft. Now, if you don't know the, uh, the shows the WWE, Raw, SmackDown, NXT have their own set roster. You know, those men and women who compete on the show week in, week out. And what the draft does, it changes it up by letting each show like kind of pluck superstars from the other rosters. So like Raw can select somebody from SmackDown XT, SmackDown Raw, you get it. But um, a very uh, look forward to part of this draft is the NXT call up. So if you don't know, NXT is their third show treated mostly as like a developmental brand, whether it's new superstars learning, getting ready to take the main stage, or it's people on the main rosters who maybe don't get the most time or need some fine tuning get sent to NXT to work on it. But when that draft day rolls around, you get the, the next generation called up on shows. It's just always exciting. And it's always great to see how that changes the landscape of the WWE. So for this video, I'm gonna look at the most likely NXT call-ups for this draft and who I think is you know, more than ready to take the next step. Th this list is not in order. It's kind of just what came to me when it came to me. Okay, starting off first with your NXT champion, Ilya Dragunov. I do believe it's time. Um, he's he's one of those that's just been there, done that, has held a title multiple times. He's just fought with just about everyone. Uh, main talent there at NXT. While I think, you know, if he want, if they, uh, kept him down there, just he just had banger matches with everybody. No harm, no foul. It's just as far as a, a hot meter he's a hot name right now he could come up feud with the likes of like a gunther or a f he could legitimately just be put in the intercontinental title or the united states title picture right away and it makes sense i think for Ilya, it's one of those cases where it's best to take out a little maybe hair early than a hair late you know again strike while the iron's hot get him out of there get him on the main roster and let the whole world see just his ruthless style of competition. Speaking of champions, I do think a name that will be called up is the NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez. Um, especially with his late resurgence of a heel character. Now, I, me personally, I wouldn't do it since we just, we're just now getting a couple months into this um, better than now, I'm, I'm the ish heel character i think they can run with that for a while and say they want to but roxanne has proved that she can go in a ring she's getting bet better on the mic better i'm not saying she's great but she's getting better and this may be another thing like Ilya just striking when the iron's hot getting a buzz that they, they both did have matches at the raw after wrestlemania almost like a tester of uh source see how the crowd react I think I feel like it was a good reaction. So they strike while iron's hot, get Roxanne up to me, me if she goes up raw, just cause you know, with Rhea out of commission for right now, you have Nia Jax, you have Becky, maybe Liv, but other than that, it's not many top uh, female superstars over there. So I think inserting Roxanne Perez to that raw la locker room would be awesome. Next we have Carmelo Hayes. I know I said this for Ilya, but he's one that has been there, done that. He was part of NXT, that polished turd that was NXT 2.0. He had like the baby face run. He had the ultimate heel move. And with seemingly him and Trick Williams business kind of done, there, it, it would only hurt Carmelo to keep him down at NXT. I think he would be feel, feel fit uh, good on the Raw or SmackDown roster, either one be a brash young cocky guy like the, i'm the next shit you know so look out and again he's he's great on the mic he has he knows presence he he can obviously go in a ring there's no question about that so yeah carmel hayes is someone who his time's just done next day it's his time to move on so he's coming up i uh have dijak next although i'm not super sold on this just because he, for the last couple year, year, last year, definitely, maybe the last couple years, has been that standard bearer, tough guy that people go through. 
and just put on great matches. Dijak could just he could have a five star match with a broom if he wanted to. Dijak again, yeah, he's one of those people that just is one of the almost like tests for young up and coming people. If they're getting hot, if they if uh, management thinks he can put on a good match, they throw him with Dijak and PLE and just tear the house down. I like Dijak in a role. I think. There's a NXT championship reign, especially with Ily if Ilya goes in the future. And as far as the main roster, yeah, he can go up there and put on good matches. I'm not saying he can't flourish on the main roster. I just think his current gimmick of like a street justice cop plays by his own rules, whatever it is, works better in NXT. But again, if Dijak went to the main roster, he flourished. I think this is one of those like more surprising call-ups they do. Because once a year they do like a person you don't really think of getting called up, it uh could be Dijak. So I'm going to lean it. Plus I like the guy; he's funny on uh, X. Uh, so yeah, I think Dijak's time is coming. The last one on this list for now is Metaphor. Surprise, surprise! I think with them hosting Stand and Deliver, they've shown that they can be the comedic uh, effect on the roster while still putting on match uh, good matches. Noam Dar is a great talent in the ring. He can wrestle with anyone. But that group, something about that group that looks good. It's just, it's funny. Every time they're on screen, they're hilarious. They, they know who they are. They play into it and they can get heat with anyone. I I, I think, with, especially with a, a show like Raw that's three hours, Metaphor can find a spot there over what else they got going on. And like Dijak, there's always like a, a surprise call up that's out of the blue. I believe it's Metaphor's time. I think the get, uh, gimmick is hot. Take it up to the main roster and just let them entertain crowds. They can do that. They have it in them. So with that, and I don't see no no Dar anyone in that group really competing for a title anytime soon. So with that, give me Metaphor to be called up from NXT. All right, there was a, about five names I have. Who do you have? Let me know in the comments who you think is gonna get called up. And yeah. I am at It's Heartfelt on all socials, but for right now, I'm just Heartfelt. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.